This is called How to Eat Loads and Lose Weight. So two years ago, I'd put on quite a lot of weight. It was 14 stone. You're so slender now. <coughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome. And my partner, Valerie, she um, she declared to me one day that she was going to go on a diet. And I said, well, you don't need to go on a diet. She yeah. said, I want to go on a diet. And then she turned around to me and said, didn't you say that you wanted to lose a little bit of weight as well? No. Now, you know you're in a loving relationship, don't you? When you can turn to your partner and say, didn't you say you wanted to lose some weight yeah. as well? And uh, so... <laughs> So I was embarrassed by this, okay, and so I started doing all the things that I did and mm. noticed that um, they weren't having quite the magical effect that they did the first time round. Yeah. And it was exactly as you described. I was um, hungry all the time. I was sluggish. You know, I, it was a horrible, horrible way of losing weight. Uh, meanwhile, however, Val... Her weight's just falling off, no problem at all, okay? And she's eating loads of lovely meals, and mm. she's looking better than she's ever looked. She, and she's, um, she's not starving, she's not hungry. And, uh, and, I, I, and so I said to her, how on earth are you doing this? And she said, oh, I'm basically doing low carb. And I thought, okay, low carb. So she started telling me about it, and I started to put some of these ideas, you know, change the things that I was eating, and started to notice that it actually worked. And at that point, the the fix-it man inside mm. of me, you know, it was like a red rag to a ball. The fix-it man inside of me was, like, fascinated. How does, how does this work? Why does it work? Why is it that nobody else seems to be doing this how comes this isn't the advice that gets trotted out yeah. when you go to see your doctor because if doctors will say it's low fat yeah. everything's low calorie fat. counting yeah. low fat everything mm. in moderation yeah. move more eat less all of this advice which they keep trotting out mm. you know which is a painful way of losing weight and yet here seemed to be the magic formula and so i started to read up everything i could and started to look at some scientific studies that have been done and that sort of stuff and i was just the whole idea fascinated me and i thought i think there's a book in here mm. which is why i decided to sit down and write another book so that's how we ended up with how to eat loads and lose weight basically we are all made the same in terms of the basic structure yeah let me t let me tell you how it works very very quickly um we all know that food is made up of three things okay and those things are, they're called macronutrients and it's basically proteins and it's fats and it's carbohydrates as well. Yep. Now, we know that proteins are what your body uses to create your muscles and things like that. But what you probably don't realise is that fats are also used as a building block. It's not a fuel, mm. it's a building block. So your uh, cells, <clears throat> they're made out of fats. Most of your brain is made out of fat, which leaves the carbohydrates. And broadly speaking, the carbohydrates is what fuels your body. So when you eat food, um, your body takes the food apart and then the carbohydrates get turned into glucose that gets dumped in your blood yeah it travels around your blood fueling your muscles fueling your brain and then what's left over uh what glucose is still left in the blood that gets converted into the fat so the fat around your belly isn't fat uh, that you ate it's fat that you made yourself so fat doesn't actually make you fat at all it's the carbohydrates that actually makes you fat so if you want to lose the weight that you're carrying all you need to do is cut down on the carbohydrates and it's also for people who, who, are, who are diabetic as well isn't it because carbohydrates turn to sugar that isn't that, it which kind of you absolutely know, yeah. yeah absolutely in fact and and i was talking to val about this the other day um we think of things like diabetes type 2 as uh, related to weight you know if you if you become t uh, too heavy then you develop diabetes type 2 but actually it's n it's not quite that simple diabetes type 2 and being overweight are both symptoms of an underlying problem and the underlying problem is you've just got too many carbohydrates too much glucose in your system yeah. and so if you cut down on that you solve both problems you lose weight but you also uh, reverse diabetes type 2 there are some recipes in this book which lots of recipes oh, which I, you didn't bring any biscuits in for me so i'm like looking at like salivating no. all over the pages um but 
which is not no biscuits not, no biscuits yeah. normally you always choose to turn up with biscuits but i didn't think yeah, you would not today, today. Uh, yeah. not not today but no. when we read through sometimes with the yeah. uh, you know diet food or if you're making something like a chili <coughs> and then you think yeah. you've got low fat mints which is fair enough no. but then but then you haven't got the wine you haven't got the oil you haven't got the the flavor and i think that's what you need that kind of yep. mouth yeah feel, no no, no. You know if, you're gonna, if you're gonna make a chili okay you go and buy the 20 percent fat uh mince meat so that's that'll be the cheapest um uh, meat you can buy in yep. tesco so you're already saving money there uh it'll also be absolutely packed with flavor because it's 20 percent fat yeah and then you can add loads of butter to that or i, I use ghee yeah uh, the thing that you should steer away from when you're making a chili con carne is the kidney beans that's the thing that's got all the carbs so leave that out but you could put some uh tomatoes in there that's absolutely fine uh you know you can there are the, uh, the onion that wouldn't mm. be a bad thing put a little bit of onion would you in have there. it with salad or not don't have it with rice so yeah you with? well you could do well uh you could have it with salad but um if you like rice what you could do is take a cauliflower oh that is delicious isn't it take a nice yeah. ripe hard cauliflower yeah, put yeah. that in a food processor whiz it down to absolutely nothing okay and then put that in the microwave for two or three minutes and you make what they call collie rice okay yep. it looks like rice and when you have it with a chili con carne it or something like, like that it actually tastes like yeah. it as well it's brilliant so th- so you've got low carb rice if we're doing chili con carne we'll make uh, cheese tacos which are quite good fun so you grate some cheese into a frying pan so <laughs> and then you fry this cheese up until it starts to solidify and bubble and then you ease it out of the frying pan and you can sort of like just wrap it around sort of like a rolling pin or something like that yeah. and you end up with these taco shells that are made out of cheese yes and, oh. and they're quite good fun you're, you're salivating now as well i know i am starving <laughs> so it's got here action point remove all high carb products yeah. from your life let's think uh bread obviously that's the big one get rid of that uh potatoes stop having those as well um in fact any vegetable that grows below the ground a root vegetable is usually very high in carbs so uh parsnips you know they're they're pretty bad anything that grows above the ground tomatoes not too bad berries absolutely fine avocados absolutely fine Mm -hmm. eggs fine cheese fine uh obviously all meat that's all absolutely fine but the carbohydrates including fruit so yeah. like apples and oranges those sort of things those of, you've got to stop having those and when i say stop having those i don't mean forever okay this is just whilst you're doing your diet so you're just going to take a break from having potatoes for a little while mm. and then watch the weight fall off and then when you reach your target weight you can think about bringing some of those items back in again well, a, ke- a keto about. diet it sounds a bit uh, what's the word fad diety doesn't mm. it but all a keto diet is is um a very very low carb diet so a low carb diet might be anything under um, 100 grams of carbs a day maybe 50 is a better one to aim for yeah. 50 grams of carbs a day if you're going to go full-on keto then that's around about 20 carbs a day which is not that many you know yeah. that's that's really really low but the and ironically they have done some uh, research on this you don't necessarily lose weight faster than a low carb diet but because you haven't got the carbs constantly triggering you and sort of like reminding you of what you're missing is mm. it's potentially easier to do once right. you get into the mindset do you have to weigh out food or is on this diet of yours some people like to be really strict you can f- you can download an app for instance for your phone for free mm. which you uh, you type in what you're eating and it'll tell you how many carbohydrates are in that but i prefer to uh do what they call dirty keto which is oh i know it sounds much more fun (laughs) Uh, and that's basically where you just uh, avoid the the big hitters the breads the potatoes uh the fruit those sort of things and that should get you part of the way uh, without having to count the single um, carb, without having to weigh out your food or anything like that. Then if you find that you're still not losing any weight, that might be the time to start thinking, okay, what am I eating? How many carbs are actually in that uh, that food? And start eliminating those. If you cut down on your carbs, a lot of people yeah. say that you get like this um, fatigue or your brain fog. No. I disagree with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you, do we just want something wrong with us because we've cut out bread? We go, oh god, I've got a terrible headache. Well, now. no, no. <laughs> it, it's true that people do. <laughs> sometimes people do get headaches, and um, they call it. Sometimes they call it keto flu. <laughs> So there is, uh, whilst your body transitions from going from um, 
a very hard, a carby environment where it's sort of like you know getting carbs on a three times a day every single day whilst it transitions from using uh, glucose to power itself into using ketones which is what your body turns your fat into there is a, a week or so when you might have brain fog you might feel a bit dizzy you might mm. feel a bit tired and that sort of stuff but you can um this firstly it's only temporary yeah and secondly <clears throat> if you up the amount of water that you're drinking if you perhaps take a magnesium supplement if you um eat a few more pickled vegetables or just drink some pickle juice or something yeah. like that you you're basically suffering from uh, you've lost some of your uh, minerals and if you replace those then those symptoms go away pretty quickly yeah now urine <laughs> <laughs> sorry i wasn't offering a, wasn't offering a drink i wasn't uh, expecting so you to say that <laughs> keto sticks yeah uh, is that is this something you need when you're doing this eating plan uh, okay well first of all let's explain what keto <laughs> sticks are okay and why i just said the random word urine yeah uh, why you just why you just said urine okay uh, th- um if you you can buy these things um from your favorite online retailer called keto sticks mm. okay and they're basically little plastic strips with a sort of like a bobbly bit on one end and if you pee on the stick um it will change color if there's ketones in your urine if it does change if there were ketones in your urine it means that basically what was happening is your body has started to use up the stored fat and started to convert those the, that fat into ketones yeah and it, the good thing about this what i like about keto sticks is that um for the first time ever there's here's something you can do which tells you either way whether you're losing weight you don't have to sort of like stand on the scales and you know wait to see a number change this can tell you instantly whether or not you're actually doing it properly yeah and i when i started doing this i found that enormously um uh, helpful it it keeps you going you Mm. can pee on a stick in the morning yes i'm still in uh, still in ketosis i'm still losing weight and so it's a useful thing but it's not necessary you don't have to do it at all so yeah yeah, but it's useful to know excellent now if people are going to what is a typical days uh give us a run through of like a typical day of what to eat those and lose weight yeah so what would you have for breakfast you you get snacks and can you drink coffee and milk you know uh that's well these are good questions well let's start with breakfast breakfast is uh one of the good things about being on a low carb Mm. diet is that uh, you can pretty much have your fry up in the morning no problem at all you can have eggs you can have bacon um but if you haven't got time to do that you could have avocado that's that's quite nice um or as i say just eggs on their own that you or know omelet and cheese you and can oh like god that, yeah, yeah you could definitely have that yeah an omelet with cheese and some bacon in there yeah, yeah. you can definitely you can uh, at the weekends what we tend to do is we tend to make a really nice big uh, breakfast which will keep us going yeah until early evening so we can skip lunch yeah um lunch lunch in fact is the most challenging meal of all really because most people would have a sandwich yeah. or something like that so i i you know i'd recommend going for a bigger breakfast so that it'll see you all the way through to uh to your evening meal and then your evening meal where you can have the chili con carne we talked about earlier on or there might a uh, butter chicken curry yeah. that's one of our favorites and seems to uh, seems to be quite popular or there's well there's there's all manner of things that, mm. uh, you know all manner of meals any kind of meat you can have steaks you can have uh, pork you can have chicken um all of those things loads of cheese whatever you one you know what about sort of things there's something called cloud bread which is like um yeah which is uh if you really do love your bread and you you need to have a sandwich yeah. for lunch you can make it and it's low carb and then you can yeah. fill that with loads of chicken and mayonnaise or cheese yeah now uh, well, i'm glad you raised that because we tried making cloud bread a couple of times okay <laughs> it's, it's hideous it's hideous <laughs> It's, uh, it, it it's, sounds so nice it's hard to make <laughs> uh, and it doesn't taste like bread and it doesn't work like bread either yeah. but okay um have you heard of the chaffle no now a chaffle is a cheese waffle Ooh. so if you have a waffle maker okay you can uh get some cheese and you have to have mozzarella and cheddar you don't have to have the cheddar but it it works better if you have cheddar yeah. cheddar and mozzarella you get some almond flour that's just basically ground up almonds mm. you put a tablespoon or two of that in put an egg in you mix up this mixture you put that in your waffle maker for about seven or eight minutes okay it depends depending on your waffle maker and then you end up with a chaffle it looks like a waffle 
but it's actually made out of cheese and that is a closer um that's about as close to bread as you're ever going to get on a low carb diet and then Mm. on that you can add tuna and a salad you know tuna salad or or whatever you want you could you know you could use that in your chili con carne and we make chaffles quite a lot chaffles are lovely so Mm. then they're a real game changer Mm. if you like bread then that's basically going to save you the chaffle Now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Can you come in with no... What you should have done I is I've made some butter carb. chicken yeah. uh, I've made and some chilli con carne here, Michelle. I've kept it warm in this special container I know, that I've brought I'm in for sorry. me. But come to me, nothing. Okay. Nothing yeah. at all. <laughs> and, now I'm, and now I want to see the things. When you start thinking about sort of... Uh, now I want sort of steak kind of meat and... Yeah. You know, that's... Yeah. But, uh, I, mean, having, I mean, having listened to everything I've just said, is this something that you think you could do? Yes, because it sounds tasty. Right, and that's the that's the thing. When you think sometimes of a diet, you think a bit of chicken. Then I've got to get low fat yeah. mayonnaise, which is okay, but it never tastes the same. And I do like my, my salads. Um, or oh, I don't look like I eat many salads. Um, and I like a curry with a flavour. I like food that's got flavour. Right. Sometimes when you've got low fat, or it's right. low fat yogurt, low fat mayonnaise, exactly. or you can't really have cheese and you can't have butter. They give things flavour, like frying a steak. Right. You can grill it. It will never taste the same. If you put it in a load of butter with uh, salt and pepper, you can taste it now. If you're a meat eater, you're like, that's, yeah. Well, uh, can I just mention my friend Vicky? Hello, Vicky. Uh, So six months ago, Vicky, she posted, and I hope she won't mind me saying this, uh, she posted on Facebook her Weight Watchers meal, which Mm. was basically a piece of fruit, a Weight Watchers chocolate bar, and and a bit of toast. Yeah. And that was supposed to help her lose weight, mm. and it's but it's carbs, carbs, and carbs, and yeah. it, you know, and it's painful. Anyway, now she's doing this, and it's working for her. Now you've got your website, so give it a quick mention. So we got to the book is How to Eat Loads and Lose Weight. Peter Jones, uh, best-selling author, and you've got your own uh, website page and Facebook page as well for people to join. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Facebook forward slash uh, Peter Jones Author or PeterJonesAuthor dot com. If you type Eat Loads Stay uh, No Eat Loads Lose Weight dot com, that will take you straight to the book. So, uh, but if you just type Peter Jones Author into Google, that will find me. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for the copy of the book. I'm going to have to have something to eat now because I'm really hungry. (laughs) But thank you. Thank you very much to Peter Jones. Uh, I'll be back with more after the news.